We see objects that sent their light to us basically 14 billion years ago. How about objects farther away than that? There are surely objects farther away, but the yeah. universe is old and isn't old enough yet for its light to reach us. We it's could be living light. in an infinite universe, but all we have access to is our little bubble. And so every year goes by, the bubble gets one light year larger, and we see a little bit more of whatever universe is out there. So how is it we can see the birth of the universe? That already happened. It's because it takes light time to travel. We look out 13.8 billion light years ago, we are seeing galaxies being born. Okay, wait a billion years. Now these galaxies are a billion years older. They're no longer being born. In fact, they're not giving us this light that I was telling you about that became microwaves. But wait a minute, the universe is now 15 billion years old. I can now see objects that have given their light to me from 15 billion years ago. They are now being born. I'm seeing them being born. So as long as there is a universe out there, and as long as the whole universe had the same birth date, which all evidence points to, I will always see evidence of the Big Bang. Wow. Because that information is always fresh to us from a distance whose light only just now reached us. So what you're gonna look for is the day when this expanding horizon washes over nothing. If this expanding horizon moves and there's no galaxies there, then all the information about the formation of the universe goes away. And the Big Bang no longer has anybody telling us it is going through a Big Bang.